Okay, today is episode in bootstrap mushroom farming. We are uh, putting an AC in and some new drops in Andre's garage. He has a detached garage. We already installed one air conditioner up there. That's a 5,000 BTU. He also has an 8,000 BTU up there. And uh, <clears throat> we had a recent heat wave and he put some more equipment in there. He put another fridge in there and it got too hot and it was way, way, way too hot in there. So we're putting this 18,000 BTU, it's a ton and a half of air conditioning. It's actually more like what he needs. He really needs about two tons, two and a half tons for this whole grow to be nice and chilly through the 105 degree days that we have in here, in El, here in El Paso. So this is actually in a window. The lab is on the inside, the table's right there, the flow hoods are behind it. Um, not the best setup, but it'll work. Uh, and right now the main issue is it's getting this corner of the, the garage nice and chilly, but it, the grow on the opposite end over there is not getting chilly. So we're using today, we're using some MC cable, metal clad cable. Um, it's conduit with wire already pretty strung through it, pretty convenient. Um, for those of you, you who are not familiar with electrical, um, here's a little bit of run through, quick run through. So we're using, we're using a 10 gauge and we're doing a 30 amp 120. So right now the box is opened up. We're doing a, a 30 amp 120, um, and this is we're gonna replace this. This is a double 20. We're gonna do a 20, and then a 30, and then run 10 gauge to the to the mixer on a 30 amp, and then also run. We're gonna sister up, which I don't think is necessarily to code, but it's what we're doing. He ran out of box space. There's no more space for any big uh, 220 volt outlets, um, 240 volt, whatever you want to call it. So what we're doing is we're just sistering it up with his existing, I don't know what the hell this is, I think it runs as dryer or something like that. And this will just run the air conditioner. The air conditioner only pulls like 7 amps, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I think he'll still be able to run uh, whatever it is, his dryer or whatever, while his air conditioner is on with no problem. Um, so yeah, we're going to, I drilled out the holes, I used a step bit to drill out the holes. The MC cable gets on the end of it, it gets these little guys that screw in. And it looks like that when it's all done. And I gotta, this is getting redone and thicker. This is only 12 gauge right now. We decided to go up a gauge. But um, that's gonna get rewired, put inside, and the panel cover is gonna go back over the front of it. And then we're gonna run the cable up and over through his, <coughs> through his um, little canopy thing here. And I actually checked, I wasn't sure, but MC cable is rated for outdoors. So it's just gonna be outdoors from there to here, and then it's gonna go through that stud right there and go along the inside of that rafter along with that wire you can kind of see that's painted. It's gonna run along that. It'll go across that bridge and then through here. So now he'll have a 30 amp breaker for the mixer and drum, and then he'll have a 30 amp 220 for the air conditioner and some other small 220 items if he wants to. Um, one thing we need to do still, because this is like kind of in a shed, it's really hot back here because the air is just circulating, or it's actually going this way. It's just circulating here. It's probably over probably 110, 120 degrees back here. So because of that, he's not getting as much air conditioning as he probably should out of that. It's not, not as much efficiency. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to loosen up these, these screws that are holding this down and slide it over a panel or two. That way the heat can come up and out. So, yeah, and you can see here he has all, this is his storage. That door over there opens. So there's all the drums filled with soybean holes, two tons of soybean hole right here. And uh, the pellets get stacked on top of each drum, but he needs to go shopping right now for more pellets. I think he only has a couple more bags left. So, uh, one issue that we also were, were talking about addressing is the fact that, so the south is that way. So the sun in the afternoon it comes over here and it's beaming on this side of the building. And he already has a garden area there, so we're talking about planting something there. Um, we're looking at doing, I have some Jerusalem artichokes. So do a row or two of Jerusalem artichokes, probably put them on a timer using, there's a faucet right there, put a timer on it with some drip so you don't have to worry about it. And that'll be the best of both worlds because it'll grow six to eight feet tall in the summertime, shade that side of the building, which is incubation and lab, help save with the power a little bit, and then in the winter, it'll die back, and you'll have the heat from the sun when you want it. So, 
that's the progress on this grow right now. Um, I'm gonna, I'll probably have one or two more videos of this grow and then hopefully he'll have everything dialed in in full bloom. He's looking at doing double batches starting in about a week. Um, so that actually starting this week, he's doing double batches. So he's ramping up production. He's gonna start maxing out the grow. He wants to do over hundred pounds per week in a 70 square foot fruiting room, which is pushing it, but you can do it. Uh, I think he can probably go more than that if he gets all his parameters right and the air conditioning down. Especially in the cooler weather, it'll be a lot easier, but right now the main thing is you need to have the correct amount of air conditioning for that size of the grow. So uh, besides that, I got my class coming up uh, tomorrow. So I'm over here trying to prep, clean up for the class, get everything dialed in. And I got the hands-on class. So if anybody's interested in doing the hands-on class, uh, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna book two more. I have the one right now. I'm gonna have one in uh, October and then November and December, I think I'm gonna have some classes too. So, uh, and then I'm gonna be moving. So it'll be in a whole new, I don't even know where I'm going yet. So I'm a uh, whole new location. So, all right, hopefully you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up or a heart or a like or whatever. And uh, follow me on vimeo.com if you're not already. Check out my Patreon page if you wanna get some one-on-one -on -one, or if you just wanna support my channel and check out kit.com slash Myers Mushrooms if you wanna buy some mushroom related gear and equipment. Take it easy and keep on mushrooming.